Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to another, well, welcome to my grandmother's house. Um, yeah, today, today we're at the motorhome, right out here. We part, we brought it to the house. Um, after we go, when, in the last vlog, you guys saw that we got to go get it repaired. And yes, it is sitting right outside here. And we're gonna, we're gonna continue cleaning it today. So we just came inside for a quick second. So, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and take this out to my parents. But yeah, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. I hope you guys are doing great. This is another day of cleaning at the motorhome. All right, first big cleaning task of the day. We're gonna be using soap and water and we're gonna clean the rims cleaning up the rims on the motorhome. They're steel and chrome plated, so we don't want to scratch them. So we're going to use a sponge and some scotch Brite. We're going to go ahead and clean up the rims. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, you guys, we just got done. All right, got to turn the water back on. Turn the water off so I could at least get the new hose plugged back in. So coming over here to turn the water back on there there and now we'll go finish cleaning all right so we cleaned three of the four hubcaps already this one just got done cleaning you can see my reflection right there is how clean it is <laughs> perfect so we'll up to cleaning this front one so we'll go ahead and go ahead and start cleaning we'll show you the before this is the before with all the dirt all the red and then I'll show you after, so here we go. All right, you guys, time to spray this hubcap down. We just got done cleaning it, so go ahead and take the hose, and just turn it on, and start spraying it down. guys we just got done cleaning the back of the RV we just got done cleaning the rear of it um, it had all this white stuff like right here and here it had all this white stuff I don't know you can kind of tell right there it's kind of stuff there still but yeah overall I just got done cleaning this yeah see all this white stuff yeah we gotta we gotta find a way to take care of that <laughs> um, yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta find a way to, to kind of remove that stuff. But overall, it looks good. We cleaned inside the engine bay here. Go ahead and open this up. Right there. We cleaned inside the engine bay right here. So now all in that, all inside there is completely clean. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try to get this white stuff off the side. I have no idea what it is, but we'll try to get it off. And also, straight pipe exhaust. I sprayed a little bit of water in there. I just sprayed a tiny bit of water in there so that when next time he cranks it, it'll actually make some water come out, which I think is pretty cool. So, um, straight pipe exhaust on the motorhome sounds incredible. It's not quite straight pipe, but look how tiny that muffler is. Look how tiny that thing is. So it makes it sound like a straight pipe. It's very loud. So I wonder what this thing would sound like if it didn't have an exhaust or a pipe at all. So white stuff needs to go. All right, we just scrubbed it here and over here. So we gotta rinse it all off now. See if it comes back. So go ahead and take this, turn on the hose, and we'll start rinsing it, hosing it down. There's one side. All right.
Yeah, it so happens that every time that I rinse it and it sets to dry, then it comes back. So, yeah, I don't know how we're gonna solve that. Like, seriously, it looks good, okay. But, I mean, all right. Gotta get one more spot. All right, we're good. All right, you guys, the water in our cleaning bucket needs to be replaced. So, got this old dirty sponge here, gonna wring out. Because we just got done cleaning, as you saw, the back end of the motorhome, the engine bay compartment. So, and the engine bay doors and stuff. So, I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze that out. We're gonna rinse this out here. I don't think this thing will come very clean, but I don't think we'll be using it anymore. Because we're gonna be using, we're gonna be cleaning the back end of the motorhome. So. Oh yeah, that dirt is caked on there, guys. Right there, dirt is caked on there. So, yeah. Going to finish cleaning this up here. This is no Norwex, but we can still rub it together like it is. Yeah, nothing. Uh, you know what? I'll just give up on doing that. You know, I mean... We're trying to get this thing clean. I'm trying to get the motorhome clean. I'm trying to help my granddaughter out. Um, he, he really appreciates me. He really appreciates my help. Um, and I hope you guys appreciate me making these videos and documenting the entire process. Because I tell you, that guys, this process takes months. You don't know how long we've been working at it. We've been working at this at this single process of cleaning this motorhome for almost six months now. Um, he bought it last year. He bought this motorhome last year. And unfortunately he it's not I mean it is what he wanted. He wanted an A-class, he wanted a big one. And it seems he got a big one, but not really the kind of big that he really wanted, so. Yeah, we got dirt literally caked all in this thing just because I was trying to use this bucket to clean, clean out the motorhome, so. Or to clean off the exterior of the motorhome more like. Switch this around a little bit. Dump that out. I'm gonna go ahead and start filling this thing with warm water. All right, you guys. Got our full bucket of water here. Move that out of the way. We got our full bucket of water here, ready to go take on the job of cleaning the back of the motorhome. My granddad went to go get lunch, so he's left me in charge of cleaning the exterior. There's that chime from the in-home security system. So we'll go ahead and take this out and we'll clean the side and the back of the motorhome. So I can carry this all the way out to our motorhome and we'll, we'll begin cleaning the back. Oh, and yeah, guys, a food vlog will be coming very, very shortly. So stay tuned. So yeah, you guys, we're back here at the back of the RV. We've got our long handle brush here. And we're gonna begin cleaning the top area of the back of this motorhome with this brush. This long, long tip brush. So we'll go ahead and roll the fat, roll the um, the uh, time lapse, and show you guys the process of cleaning this. So here we go.
Okay, that looks so good. That looks really, really good. Um, why take it? Why, why do? Why go to a truck wash or a car wash when you can take satisfaction in it yourself? Look at how clean this is. It's shining. I know. And they, by the way, guys, this is my mom. Shiny the first, first time, first time she'll ever be featured on the channel. So, yeah, yeah, this looks incredible. Like, and also look at the side here. Like all where all this white stuff once was on the side, yeah. it's all completely How far gone. How did you go with your cleaning? I went as far up as I could go, as far as I could reach. Awesome. I went up as far as I could reach, but yeah, this is. I had to climb up on the ladder at the back to get up top a little bit. So I mean, it looks incredible. I really like it. So great, looks great. Give it, leave a like if you enjoy it. If you enjoy this, like if you think this is a great job, and if you want to keep seeing seeing more of these cleaning vlogs. Please give this video a, a thumbs up. I want to get this video up to 150,000 likes. So please smash that like button. All right, you guys, we're inside the motorhome now. Um, still continuing to clean, but still it's it's coming along a little bit better, a little bit more. We got the back end here. We got the slide extracted, pushed, pushed all the way out. Um, we got the closet cleaning out. The closet right now with the back end of the motorhome here, so. Yeah, I think this is what Granddad was saying with the panels leading to the engine bay right in here. If we can get this to, you know, kind of open up here, probably no, not not quite yet. Not we're not we're not quite yet for a, ready for an engine reveal yet, but it'll come soon. It'll come soon. Clip those down right there. But yeah, we got the slide all the way extracted, cleaning under the bed and everything. So, and the ceiling vlog that I cleaned, not looking any better. I don't think the ceiling is ever going to be the same. I don't think it's ever going to look right. But yeah, yeah. We did clean in the bathroom. Huh, he got this window to stay up. Or he just took it down. He probably just took it down. But yeah getting a bunch of stuff clean in here right now how's the refrigerator looking is it clean yeah I mean it is clean it is clean all right but yeah we're downhill that's why it is clean um, definitely still clean from when I cleaned it so definitely still clean um, looking forward to the time that we get everything done and this thing finally goes out on a maiden trip so cleaning up the interior here let's go take a look at some of the stuff we did to the exterior so we're on the exterior um i just got done cleaning on the exterior granddad's put me in charge of cleaning the exterior i cleaned up the rims here um all of it all of them all four of them um i also just got done cleaning up the back end of the motorhome here cleaned up the back also cleaned up the exhaust pipe and cleaned all four rims we're working on getting some stuff situated in the water tank area so yeah cleaned off all the rims they look pretty good generator is going right now um, but yeah cleaned off the whole front end of the motorhome too um, yeah and yeah pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool and my mom right now is working on cleaning all of the cracks and crannies in the door. So, yeah, we'll just continue working here and keep you guys posted. So, yes, you guys, we are getting, in fact, ready to put the recliner in. I never thought it would happen, but they're on their way. We're getting ready to put this dual reclining love seat in, and I hope I can film that for you guys. Don't know, but we're getting ready to put it in. Let's go. Let's do this. This is one of the final steps. Let's get ready to do this. All right, I gotta figure out how to get this into the motorhome, so we'll just go with this. Whoa, yo, are you kidding me? Yo, this looks so good, what? Just sitting here in the motorhome, what? Look at it, looks perfect, yo. Perfect. Yo, it has these little touch buttons on either side that you just touch. 
you just touch them and the seat, the thing at the bottom folds up and out. It's so perfect. It fits perfectly. Fits literally perfectly here in the motorhome right next to the other one. And you do have decent walking space right in between them. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's that. We'll go ahead and get out of here. Um, I got to go post this video, upload this. It got got a little storage compartment right here and it says, it says something in here. Do not discard mounting hardware and mounting microphone. Interesting. Okay. Good to know that's in there. Just a little compartment there. But yeah, it looks perfect. Are you kidding me? What? This is definitely going on the vlog. So hope you guys enjoyed. One other thing I forgot to add, guys. We did get the, we did finally get the tow car hitch receiver put on. Um, I want to show you how this, how this thing works. It's pretty cool. You unclip the cover, you pull the cover off, pull the cover off, and there's your receiver right there. Um, so this thing, this thing is really neat. This thing is what holds your car. You raise this up, and this thing is what you attach the car hitch to. Which granddad has on his Saturn right now so <clears throat> this is the thing that you attach the car to and you pull your car as you're going down the road using this receiver so put the cover back on yeah we got the full we finally got the receiver on um, pretty good to have that on pretty great in fact to have that on so really really neat um, this thing's starting to take shape um, I'm really excited I'm really excited for why for when this thing finally gets to go out on her maiden trip. So, Diplomat Monaco RV will keep you guys posted on everything that we're cleaning so far. She's almost there. She's almost there. I tell you that, guys. She's almost there. One year ago, you guys, my granddad made a crazy decision. He chose to go out and buy a 40-foot Monaco diesel motorhome that came all the way straight from the beautiful state of Oregon. And... I can quite frankly say it was the craziest decision of his life. Um, he used to own a 38-foot Monaco, but it didn't really work out. They stayed in it for about a year, and it didn't really work out. They didn't want to have keep it anymore, and then he buys this. And I can tell you guys over the past eight months, I'm working on it. He's, he's been enjoying it. He's been working on it. I've been helping him with it. And I, I'm, I can finally say after a rough, a rough eight long months, this thing is just about ready to go. All we have to do left is get the stripes repainted on the side of it, get the back end patched up, and get the dual reclining love seat put into the motorhome. And effectively, that will end the process of getting this thing ready, and then she'll be ready to go out on her maiden voyage with my granddad. So just a rough eight months really pays off, you guys. It really does, um, and I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. There's a couple things left. I'm so excited to get back to work on those. That'll be in the next video, finishing up cleaning the motorhome, completing the job, getting the dual reclining love seat put in, getting this fixed, and getting the stripes repainted. So with that, that will end effectively end today's video. And as always, guys, please browse the channel and subscribe, and please hit the like button on this video. Leave a comment down below of how you guys think I did filming everything from beginning to end of cleaning the motorhome, guys. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.